Most structure fires, fire deaths, and fire injuries occur in the home. According to the National Fire Protection Association, U.S. fire departments respond to 357,000 home structure fires per year on average. Domestic fires occur for many reasons. They may be due to electrical faults in appliances within the properties. Many times it's due to careless use of smoking materials, even the use of candles, inappropriate use of candles within the properties. But one of the biggest causes of fires within the domestic properties is kitchen fires. Cooking is the leading cause of home fires. Historically, with cooking fires, we've seen a lot of technology that helps with suppression of fires, whether it's something that uh, is above the stove top that puts out the fire, um, home fire sprinklers is another good technology, and certainly smoke alarms are one of the best technologies we've seen for reducing the fire problem. But if we can look at technologies that help prevent fires, that's great news. And I think with the onslaught of sensor technology having many more applications, it provides opportunities for us to be able to look at those technologies and see whether or not they're actually going to be able to help us prevent fires before they start. Thanks to Inahome stove guard technology, fires can be prevented before they are ignited before toxic gases are released, before any material damage is caused, and before injury or death occurs. StoveGuard is a sophisticated fire prevention product. It uses a sensor that attaches uh, either to the cooker hood or possibly uh, to the wall. Um, this is a wireless device. It's able to operate on batteries for 10 years or longer because it has two very tiny solar panels that take energy from the ambient lighting and that's actually sufficient to keep that working for, for that length of time. In the event of a dangerous situation developing, uh, the sensor will send a radio signal to the controller, which is somewhere behind the cooker, to cut the power. Almost 80% of home fires come from the electrical dings and home appliances. In the home is focusing on preventing fires, and we are the first company who can prevent those fires and in very early state. StoveGuard is, is able to react much more quickly because it doesn't require a fire to trigger a response. So for example, with a standard fire protection system, you'd normally have a heat sensor on the ceiling. For that heat sensor to work, it's necessary for the temperature of the room to be considerably higher, often after a fire has already started. Other systems, such as um, suppression systems, which actually require flames before the system will react. StoveGuard will react not only before a fire starts, but also before even significant smoke is produced. The StoveGuard acts earlier than any currently available range safety device and gives a comprehensive cover against all types of risk situations. StoveGuard is unique because we have a patented technology which is based on the two different kinds of sensor. One of those sensors analyze infrared radiation, another one analyze conductive heat. StoveGuard monitors the entire stovetop and it's able to identify a risk from one pan. So if, for example, you have two pots of vegetables boiling, but you then you have a frying pan and that frying pan is inadvertently left on, StoveGuard is able to distinguish that dangerous pan from the others. So it provides comprehensive cover. And in fact, to meet the European standard, um, it has to undergo very significant tests to prove that it can't be fooled. Developed together with fire safety professionals from around Europe, its safety backup features allows range use to become thoroughly safe. StoveGuard has a number of um, diagnostic features. Um, so for example, um, it's able to monitor the current or the, the electricity going to, to the cooker, for an electric cooker that is, of course. Um, if after a few minutes um, StoveGuard doesn't see any heat, but it can see considerable amounts of, of current, electric current, um, it's able to know that the sensor is not seeing the heat. So if, for example, somebody's covered the sensor, um, it, would, uh, it would actually shut the cooker down. And similarly, if the, uh, if the sensor was covered in, in grease, um, because it uses two different types of sensor, a thermistor and an infrared photodiode, uh, only one device would see the heat. And again, it would know, therefore, that the, uh, the sensor isn't working properly and it would shut the cooker down. Current high-risk safety concerns for both the elderly living on their own and for students living in a campus setting leave loved ones concerned for their well-being. Now, the InnoHome StoveGuard range safety device is helping people live with a sense of security.
We received a, a telephone call from a lady whose mother lives in um, a, a retirement village. Uh, she's been there for about 10 years. Uh, unfortunately, she's become a little forgetful, and as a consequence, the management decided that they should disconnect her cooker after a, a couple of near misses. Having fitted stove guard, she's now able to continue living independently. The cost of putting her into care would probably have been about £1,000 a week. So for the cost of a few hundred pounds for installing a stove guard, she's now quite safe and, and living independently. In addition, stove guard can be connected via telecare to a monitoring station, which means the number of times that stove guard has to act in the case of a near miss, if you like, uh, can be monitored and therefore the mental condition of the resident can be potentially reassessed if they find that they're forgetting their cooking perhaps too many times. Students are at a much higher risk when they're at university of cooking fires because primarily it's their first time away from home. There are lots of distractions. So a student will go in, typically put a pan on the top of the cooker, then remember something in their study bedroom, off they go. Uh, then it's the headphones on or they're talking to one of their friends. Suddenly remember, oh, did I leave a pan on the cooker? So they go back in the kitchen and before you know it, the pan's caught a light, the alarms have gone off, everybody's having to evacuate the building, kitchen's full of smoke, and of course the fire can escalate to a much worse situation. The other products that we looked at were based on passive infrared technology. So we chose StoveGuard in particular because the technology was far more intelligent. StoveGuard works by analysing the surface temperature of the hob. It's not relying on things like presence detection or timers so stove guard acts before a fire can occur, but at the same time, because of the way that it analyzes the cooking, it's able to avoid false alarms. So for example, if you take a, a pan of boiling potatoes off the range, um, obviously stove guard will see a very high temperature um, from the ring underneath, but it's able to know that that's normal cooking. So it will allow that temperature to decline at a safe rate, and as so long as the, uh, the residents turn the, uh, the power off to the cooker and that's, and that's cooling down, StoveGuard knows that there isn't a problem. We found in 2013 to 2014, we had an increase in our fire activations in one of our halls of residence. These were around hob cooking and late at night cooking, they were clustered. So we decided to use StoveGuard to increase the safety of our residents. After fitting stove guard, um, the next set of accident figures showed a decrease in force activations and we had no hob fires in that period. Based on our technology, we can prevent almost 80% of the hob fires. We are also unique because we are the only company who has the full range of the stove guards, also in, in gas cookers, and all of them are European Union approved. We have also our own test laboratory, which is also European Union approved. In a home are already having a significant impact on the industry and so effective is StoveGuard that in fact in Norway StoveGuard or a very similar product is in fact mandatory. Because it's so effective and because it doesn't affect normal cooking, and I think that's critical, um, I have one in my house for example and I've had it there for a, a couple of years and I don't know it's there. I think eventually in a home will probably change the whole approach to, to fire safety in kitchens and possibly everybody will have one. For more information, visit inahome.com.